is China's economy going to overtake that of the USA in 10 years? Depending on which GDP indicator you are using, whether nominal or PPP, China is already the world's largest economy. This may explain why the USA has declared a trade war on China. You see, on PPP basis, China was the world's largest economy in 2019. Total wealth of China is estimated at 29.7 trillion international dollar. China is followed by United States with a figure of 22.2 trillion US dollars. India, which is the seventh largest economy in the world in nominal GDP terms, is at third place when using PPP at about $12.6 trillion. I don't know why people think we should use nominal GDP, because that simply does not make any sense. For example, if China and India can go to the moon by spending only $100 million, and the USA goes to the moon by spending over $2 billion, why should we use the overblown dollar amount of the USA as the economic yardstick, when we are comparing the two economies? In this example, if the purpose is to get to the moon, China can spend 20 times less money, and divert the remaining amount into other useful ventures. So why should the USA be seen as having a higher economy just because things are more expensive? Is that a higher productivity? Now when talking about who will lead the world in the 21st century, for some strange reason, many people in Western countries falsely think they have to lead the world in every aspect. Some of these people give a doomsday scenario, that on the day that Western civilization is no longer in charge, the peace and tranquility that the world has enjoyed for the last few hundred years will come to an end, and countries will regress into barbarism. I don't know how they get this false ideas, but many people in the Western world believe this kind of apocalyptic scenario if they the West are not in charge. What many of these people fail to realize is that for a long time in the world's history, it was actually the Asian countries that were in charge, and yet nothing bad and catastrophic happened. Just see the graphical illustration below of the most powerful world economies for the past 2000 years. Personally I think if China's nominal GDP overtakes that of the USA, the US is going to cry wolf, and will elect more fringe right-wing parties who are going to engage in trade wars, economic sabotage and occasionally manufacture intentional wars just with the aim of regaining their economic superiority. In short, they will throw a lot of temper tantrums. Recently, as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, some people have been asking if the USA is going to lose its status as world superpower as soon as next year. To answer this question, you have to first determine what many people around the world see as the foremost criteria for a superpower. So all around the world, most people still regard the USA as the only superpower because they tower over every other country when it comes to real GDP. As at last year, GDP was about $21 trillion. Her closest competitor was China with a GDP total of $14 trillion. Now if the coronavirus recession unduly affects the USA, their GDP may fall by about 10% to about $19 trillion. On the other hand if China manages to turn the page with no secondary coronavirus infections, it may end up growing at about 2% this year. A 2% GDP growth rate will leave China's overall GDP unchanged at about $14.28 trillion. In this scenario, by the end of the year, China would have narrowed the GDP gap between herself and the USA, but China will still not have overtaken the USA by GDP. So to answer the question, no, the USA is not going to lose its status as the world's superpower as soon as next year, 2021, but China is likely going to narrow the gap much more substantially than would have happened without the current pandemic. With the gap narrowed by next year, 2021, I predict that China will catch up to the USA in nominal GDP in less than 10 years. Please subscribe to my channel, and if you want more of these videos, don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications when new videos are released. Thank you.